factor. And that is section 15 angle relationships. Now we're going to see how these angles are related, learn some new vocab. All right. So here's the vocab, and you're going to want to know this for all semester. Adjacent angles. The word adjacent means next to. So if I said, my next door neighbor's house is adjacent to me, right? It just means it's next to my house. So it's two angles that are adjacent. Here are two good examples of adjacent angles. Those angles are right next to each other. Okay. Uh, if we go over here, angle three, and then this entire angle, they're not next to each other. Okay. Also here, this angle and this angle, I'm going to put a dot in there. Those are not next to each other. So those are not adjacent. Okay. So they're going to have common. So our bisected angles from last chapter, those are adjacent. Adjacent means next to. All right, linear pair. Linear pair means that I have a straight line, linear, and I have a ray coming out of it. That is a linear pair. And those two angles add to 180 degrees. So anytime we have a straight line, it adds to 180 degrees. This is not a linear pair. Why? It does not have a straight line. So it is not a linear pair. All right, we got to know these, so make sure you know them. Vertical angles are angles formed by two intersecting lines. So I'm going to make this highlighter a little smaller. So this line, those lines intersect. Here's what that means. It means that angle 3 and angle 4 are congruent. Now, if I wanted to show two other angles that are congruent, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to give this one two marks and this one two marks. So angle one is congruent to angle two. Angle three is congruent to angle four. So what I want you guys to learn here is that these opposite angles are always congruent. We're going to be doing these the whole year in geometry. So really, really make sure you know vertical angles. What I like to say is vertical angles make an X. They always make an X shape. So if I look over here at this other example, this does not make a straight X. Because if I were to draw a straight X over this, it would look like that. So that is not a straight, that is not a vertical angle. Okay, let's practice with these. Name a pair of adjacent angles. Well, there's, there's tons of examples. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this angle. And I'm going to show you it's adjacent to here. So what we would say was angle W, V, X is adjacent to angle X, V, Y. So we have W, V, X. And we have X, V, Y. That's one example. They're both next to each other. There are a ton of other examples on there. We can talk about those in class. Name a linear pair. Well, first I have to draw a straight line. I want to find a straight line. Find this straight line right here. I need to pick a ray that's going off of the line. I want to pick this big one here. So I'm going to name the pair of those angles. Angle W, V, y so we have w v y okay that's one angle and y v z
Okay, maybe you guys can see that a little better if I just do this. W, V, Y, and Y, V, Z. That's a linear pair. Another linear pair, which I'm not going to write down, but I'm going to show you, is if you draw a straight line, and then this ray. Those two angles are a linear pair. We also have drawing a line here and here. That is a linear pair. So it's a line with a ray, linear pair. Oh, we have one more. And we have this one is a linear pair. So lots of examples on there. Name a pair of vertical angles. All right, well, my rule is I have to make an X. So what lines make an X? I need two straight lines. Those are my vertical angles. They, I have to have two straight lines to make an X. So I'm going to name them angle W, V, U, and angle Y, V, Z. They're both going to have the same vertex, right, because they both share point V there. All right, that's the only example from there. Okay, vertical angles are congruent. We already talked about that. Okay, this angle, I can draw. This angle and this angle are the same. Likewise, these two angles are the same as well. Next vocab, complementary angles. The way that I like to say this is they add to 90. You just have to memorize that. Any two angles that add to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles add to 180. A lot of the stuff we're going to do in geometry is adding to 90, adding to 180, or congruent. So we have the vertical angles congruent up here, complementary 90, supplementary 180. We're going to keep going over that. You really got to memorize that and learn that. Lastly, linear pair is supplementary. So linear pair adds up to 180. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of linear pairs. They're going to add up to 180. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we have some word problems. I'm just going to write out the math, and we're going to solve. So I'm going to draw... a 90 degree angle. Why? Because they're complementary. So there we go. Two complementary angles. So let's draw a ray in here. By the way, if you missed the notes in class, you should be writing some of these down so you know how to do them. Find the measures of two complementary angles if the measure of the larger angle is 12 more than twice the measure of the smaller. So basically, you're going to have 2x plus 12, and here you're going to have x. That's it. What do we know they add up to? There's my hint. They add up to 90. So, we're going to have 2x plus 12 plus x equals 90. 2x plus x is 3x. Subtract 12 from both sides, we get 3x equals 90 minus 12 is 78. Divide both sides by 3. Sorry for running out of room. x is going to equal, and right now I need my calculator because I can't think of that right now, and that's 26. But it says, find the measures of the two angles. So this one is 26, because that's x. And now I have to plug 26 into there. So I have 2 times 26 plus 12. 52 plus 12 is 64. If you found an easier way to do it, you could just take 90 minus 26 and get 64. So two different ways to find the other angle. 
Once you find one, you can find the other. All right, two. Now we have two supplementary angles. So I'm actually going to draw a linear pair. Like this. Okay. So one angle is six less than five times. You're not going to have to translate that. You're just going to have to fill in the angles on the picture. One angle is six less than five times the measure of the other angle. I'm actually going to switch these numbers around because they're going to make more sense. So six less than five times here, x here. I'm going to find the measures of both angles. Well, what do these add up to? 5x minus 6 plus x equals 180. Whenever I see this picture, I add them up to equal 180. Combine like terms, 6x minus 6 equals 180. Add 6 to both sides. 6x equals 186. Divide both sides by 6. Sorry, you can't really see that. X equals calculator time 31. So this is going to be 31 because that's X. And I need to plug it in here. So 5 times 31 minus 6. 5 times 31 is 155 minus 6 equals 149. Once again, we could also do, I'll draw way over here, 180 minus 31 to find that other angle, and we get 149. Okay, the measure of two complementary angles. Okay, now, I'm not going to draw the picture. I know that complementary means 90. So, 7x plus 17 plus 3x minus 20 equals 90. Combine like terms, 10x, 17 minus 20 is a minus 3, plus 3, plus 3, 10x equals, those cancel, 93. And um, we're going to get a decimal here, which I'm not a huge fan of. X equals 9.3. But find the measure of both angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the 9.3 back in, which this actually gets messy. You're not going to have these decimals. 7 times 9.3 plus 17. And 3 times 9.3 minus 17. 20. I'm going to type them in my calculator. I don't like decimals with these. 7 times 9.3 equals plus 17 equals 82.1. And the other one is 3 times 9.3 equals minus 20 equals 7.9. If you add up 82.1 and 7.9, you get 90. Again, you're not going to see one like that on a quiz or a test. All right, perpendicular is two lines that form a right angle. So perpendicular is a term you're going to need to know. This is the picture right here. This is the symbol down here. So two lines that cross, they're vertical angles, but every angle in the middle here is 90. That is a perpendicular line. All right, scanning through here. We've got a long section here. Okay, find x so that the angles are perpendicular. All we're doing here is setting it equal to 90. Solve algebra, plus 12, plus 12. 3x, let's cancel equals 102 divide by 3 divide by 3 x equals 
34. So anything with perpendicular is going to be 90. Okay, so now we have two angles that form, we want to know A and B so that they are perpendicular. So we just have two problems here, 3A minus 27 equals 90, and 2B minus 14 equals 90. Okay, then we're going to do algebra and solve those. We have plus 27, plus 27, 3a equals 117, divided by 3a equals 39, and plus 14, plus 14 down here, 2b equals 114, divide both sides by 2, b equals 57. So basically we're just setting things equal to 90. Okay, I don't want you to look too much into this picture. You might want to use it on the homework because you're going to get a bunch of angles like this and you're going to have to tell which ones are um, adjacent, linear pair, supplementary. By the way, we cannot assume any of this over here because nothing is marked. There is no 90 degree symbol and there is no congruent symbol therefore we can't say any of that. Alright almost done here. All right. Determine whether each statement can be assumed from the figure CAD and DAB. Let me CAD and DAB. Are those complementary? Can we assume that from the picture? Do we see a 90 degree angle here? The answer is no. There's no 90 degree angle. EDB and BDA, that got cut off there. I apologize. Um, EDB and BDA, are those adjacent, let's say? Yes, they are adjacent. They're right next to each other. Are they congruent? We can't tell. Are they complementary? No, they don't add up to 90. Okay, let's look in here. Um, are GHL and LHJ supplementary? The answer is, if GHA is a straight line, straight line, then we have a 90, then the other one must be 90, they add up to 90, so yes, they are supplementary, they are also a linear pair.